welcome back to the channel in this video we're going to show finishing up the installation of a 13 kilowatt of eg4 6500 ex inverting power 30 kilowatt hours of eg4 battery storage and 11.5 kilowatt of solar power so without further ado let's get into it Hello and welcome back to Sleem Solar Channel. Just wanted to update you on another install that we did. This install is two EG4s, 65 EXs, with the EG4 batteries, as you can see. All the batteries are connected, they're daisy chained. And they're all wired up so as you can see then positives are from the top and the negatives are from the bottom here so it's an even pull on all these batteries so these are uh, 48 volt nominal batteries and there are six of them so he has a total this gentleman has a total of 600 amp hours um, about 30 kilowatt of power and of course we have the wireway here where all the wires come up and go down in here and in here is where the two uh, breakers that comes with these systems there are two uh, I believe they're 200 amp hour 200 amp breakers I believe they're like white and they're on a DIN rail inside here so it's all enclosed and out of the way and we don't have to worry about anybody touching anything. So the AC, the batteries come up in here, both of them. Uh, negative, positive, negative, positive. And you have the AC out power on both. A hot, a neutral, and a ground. And it comes down and it goes down through the flooring and actually goes outside because I guess that's how this house was wired and come out right there uh, into that breaker panel and that breaker panel is then wired into this one which that hot one hot two neutral and the ground so now this is live <clears throat> We did a couple tests. We ran a couple tests. So right now we don't have the solar in yet because it has to be done at a later date. And it's going to be done over there. So as you can see, the client is clearing some more trees because we have to put it on two structures that go up. And then we'll work on getting the wires trenched and brought up. inside through a hole that comes up through here and then with that two inch space sorry the wires will then make its way over and come up and get connected right there let me just focus in there right there and the same thing here pv1 and pv2 so right now we're halfway done kind of and these are 13,000 watts that is going to deliver to this house so hopefully that should be plenty of power for what this client's going to need so just wanted to do another video here showing you everything that's wired up so when he's finished, he'll come back and let us know and then we can start working on the panels outside to set up all that structure and wire it up and bring it in here and complete this. But right now, this part is completed and tested successfully. If you find this content valuable, please like, share and subscribe. 
and tell others about it, okay? Until next video. Okay, we got another video from Sleem's uh, Solar. So we're setting the post, as you can see, one. We got two, three, four. We need cement for that uh, hole. The gentleman didn't get enough, so we set it. We pour the other three. I apologize for the generator running in the back because he's waiting for the solar panels to be able to power the stuff that we installed inside the house. So you're gonna hear a little bit of noise, but I'm gonna try and minimize it by speaking a little bit closer to the camera here. So this is where the second array is gonna be. As you can see, we already got the posts in the ground, the wooden posts, and then that steel rod is about two inches on top. And that's where these unistruts are basically gonna go on the here, there, 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 and there. And then the panels are gonna be stacked as rows. So we're gonna go across in a column style with the unistruts, and we're gonna mount the panels in a, a column, uh, yeah, row. <laughs> How am I getting this wrong here? In columns or rows, and we're gonna go in columns. So this is what we did today. We got them in the ground. This one, their posts are all set. They're dried, and these are set in the ground and are drying with concrete. So we'll think come back and once that one is set what we did over here we will do on these posts and then we'll get the unit struts up and running and then mount the panels and do the trenching from right here all the way to the house right there go inside with the LB elbow Oh wow, the generator's finished. Making noise. And we can wire up everything, so. Just want you guys to see we're at a remote location here. So, way out in the sticks. So as you can see, and this way, it's very cost effective to mount them this way because the panels, they can, the, the whole structure can rotate. So we can set it for the winter months and the summer months on both arrays. So, just wanted you guys to see the next job that we're, we're working on. And once we complete it, we'll do a complete walkthrough. So, next task is to get the unistruts and the solar panels up and get the trenching and get this baby up and running for this client. Please, if you like this content, please like, subscribe, and share the content so more people can see uh, what we're doing. And if you get uh, you know good information out of it, uh, that's what we want to do. We want to provide. We want to get that knowledge out there so more people can be self-sufficient and reliant and having their own power. All right. Sleem Solar, signing off. All right. Here's how we're bolting down the clamps and the panel. So that's how we drive this post or these this two inch post with this clamp into this four by four to hang all these panels with the unit stress. So we did that one over there, now we're hanging the unit struts as you can see. All right, we're driving the other one in. Hold on. All right, let's, let's get this one in. Yeah, let's get that one in now. And try it. There you go.
to the the way the Unistrut is secured to that two-inch two steel, steel, pipe steel pipe by a clamp that's wedged in the channel of the Unistrut and bolted on. Okay, we got another video of progress update here on the project that we're doing. So you can see we put the bars here. I apologize for the noise in the background. He's running the generator because we're still getting this up, all the solar panels. So there's the bar. Two inch par, we have it bolted down on top. We got the unit struts here. So you can see that they are mounted and they are clamped on with that strap. So that's how we have them bolted. So at the end, we're gonna put a self, some self tapping screws at the end of these to keep it from going off here. It'll be fine, so. There is what it looks like. Those are 400 watt panels each. There's four, so we're gonna have another column here, another column there, and another column. This structure will have 16 of these panels. And this structure, how we're gonna try and get 18 on this one because the system calls for 16 on this structure and 18 on that structure to wire them into the EG4 6500EX um, inverter. So I just wanted to let you guys see the panels, what they look like. So you look at that, it's like, whoa. I mean, it looks, I'm sure probably to you guys, it won't look as big, but from here, that is a big structure, just the four big panels. I think it's almost seven feet wide by 41 or 42 inches that way so we got one and then there's gonna be another one and three more on this structure here so that's what we're looking at so we'll be back again once the owner gets some more pieces of uh, things that we need. I tell you, it's kind of hard to get things out of way out in the country here. You have to make a hour trip or two hour trip to go to this hardware store and get everything. So it's not like we can just run down the road. We have to drive a distance. So, but we're making progress slowly but surely. So when it's all said and done, that's what it's going to look like. And it's going to be anchored. I think we're going to put some 4x4 posts in the front here. And then those structures are going to have one continue bar across the top. And they're going to be anchored down into one of the 4x4 posts here. And one over there. So when they're ready to tilt it, we'll just pull the disconnect it from that 4x4 post tilt it where we need to do it and reconnect it back so but that's where we are so far on this project hopefully we can uh, make some more progress the next time we come out to finish this hopefully so with that Slim Solar we're gonna signing off so we're gonna finish up the video showing the installation of the rest of the panels. There you see some of the guys installing the panels. You see how tall they are, what you're looking at. Here you see we made progress putting up the second column of four panels. Here you see we jumped onto the other um, array putting up the other panels and the progress that we made. Boy, I tell you, this was real difficult because we had to really get on that ladder and really get up there to hang those panels and, you know, slide them up on the unistrut, bolt them up. It was really a challenge. So here you're seeing all the panels finished. So we didn't get all the panels up. We got about 24 in total because we ran out of space of that 2-inch pipe that went across and they didn't have any more. So we just hung that. But the good thing is these were bifacial. So we actually were able to generate 11.5 kilowatts of power. So that's it for this video. 
Hope you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.